Hello everyone, I am Dr. Neeraj and today we will discuss about restriction endonuclease enzymes. So without any delay, let's start the video. What are restriction endonucleases? So these are some specific kind of enzymes which generally cleave the DNA molecule and produce smaller fragments of that DNA molecule. So the enzymes which can cleave or which can cut the DNA molecule into the smaller fragments, these are known as restriction endonucleases. And these enzymes, they can cleave the DNA only when they recognize a specific sequence which is known as the recognition site or restriction site. They can only cleave if they recognize or if they get their restriction site. If there is no restriction site, so they cannot cleave that particular DNA. So that's why they are called restriction because their restriction is that they can only cleave if they find their restriction or recognition site which is generally 4 to 8 base pair long sequences which is recognized by that specific restriction enzymes. So ultimately these are enzymes which can cleave the double stranded DNA molecule into the smaller fragment upon recognition of this restriction sites and these are sometimes also called as molecular scissor because as scissor cut the things so these restriction enzymes they also cut the molecular fragment that is DNA so that's why they may be sometimes called as molecular scissors. Now how these restriction enzymes they evolve so there are certain specific kind of viruses that infect the bacteria like as the virus infectors so there are certain kind of viruses which can also infect the bacteria and these are called as bacteriophages so what the bacteria did so bacteria produce some specific kind of enzymes which ultimately cleave the DNA or RNA of these bacteriophages so upon cleavage they just make their DNA harmless. So in order to protect themselves, bacteria produce specific kind of enzymes which kill the bacteriophage DNA or which cleave the bacteriophage DNA and ultimately protect the bacteria. So these are the restriction enzymes and this is the reason for the this is the reason for the evolution of this restriction enzymes. Now the nomenclature means how we can name these restriction enzymes. So the first letter of their name, it indicate the genus of that particular organism which produce that specific enzyme. The next two letters, they represent or they indicate about the species of that organism and the next letter, it indicate the strain of organism and finally the Roman number, it gives the order of discovery of that restriction endonuclease enzyme like for example the enzyme is eco r1 so here this e it indicate about the genus which is the s chilichi and co it indicate about the species which is the coli and r indicate the strain which is r y 13 and this one means it is the first endonuclease that was discovered in e coli so eco r1 is a restriction endonuclease which is produced by the e coli bacteria now types of restriction enzymes so these are generally of three types type 1 2 and 3 so in case of type 1 so they have a single multi subunit which have function of both the endonuclease function and methylation function they do not cut within the recognition sites means they recognize their site but they cut thousand base pair above away from their recognition site and their recognition site is generally of 8 to 16 base pair long and they require ATP, S adenosine methionine and magnesium as a cofactor. Example of type 1 kind of restriction enzyme is eco K and eco B. In case of type 2 restriction enzymes, so these are highly specific. They have separate unit for both endonuclease activity and methylase activity and they are specific means they cut within their recognition or restriction site means they can cleave at fixed location on the recognition site their recognition site is generally of 4 to 8 base pair long and is palindromic in nature and they only require magnesium ion for their activity example of type 
टू आर इको आर वन बा मैच वन हिंट थर्टीन एंड हिंट थ्री एंड मैनी मोर द नेक्स्ट इज टाइप थ्री दे ऑल्सो हैव सेपरेट यूनिट फॉर द एंडोन्यूक्लेज एंड मिथाइलेज एक्टिविटी एंड दे कट फिफ्टीन बेस पेयर अवे फ्रॉम द रिकोगशन साइट मीन्स दे रिकोगनाइज देयर स्पेसिफिक रेस्ट्रिक्शन साइट बट दे डो नॉट कट विद इन द रेस्ट्रिक्शन साइट दे कट फिफ्टीन बेस पेयर अवे फ्रॉम द रिकोगशन साइट एंड दे रिकोगशन साइट इज जनरली ऑफ फोर टू सेवन बेस पेयर लॉन्ग एंड दे ऑल्सो रिक्वायर ए टी पी एस एडिनोसिन मिथ्योनिन एंड मैग्नीशियम आयन फॉर देयर एक्टिविटी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ टाइप थ्री काइंड ऑफ रेस्ट्रिक्शन साइम इज इको पी वन एंड इको पी फिफ्टीन सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम दैट इज टाइप वन टू एंड थ्री नाउ लेट डिस्कस ब्रीफली अबाउट द रेस्ट्रिक्शन साइट्स सो एज आई टोल्ड दीज आर स्पेसिफिक सिक्वेंस विच आर रिकोगनाइज बाय रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स एंड रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स अपॉन रिकोगनाइजिंग दीज स्पेसिफिक सिक्वेंस दे क्लीव द डी एन ए मोलिक्यूल हेयर द रेस्ट्रिक्शन साइट्स दे आर आई द पेलिंड्रोमिक सिक्वेंस इन केस ऑफ टाइप टू रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स सो देयर रेस्ट्रिक्शन साइट्स आर जनरली पेलिंड्रोमिक इन नेचर एंड फोर टू सिक्स बेस पेयर इन लेंथ वट इज पेलिंड्रोमिक सो पेलिंड्रोमिक इज अ फ्रेज विच मीन्स वेन अ वर्ड और अ फ्रेज दैट कैन रीड सेम if we read it from backward or from forward like for example these two words civic and madam if we read these words as civic and madam from forward direction and if we read it from backward direction so ultimately we can read it only as civic or madam so it means these two words these are palindromic means these are same or these can be read as same if we read it read them from either of the direction so in case of restriction sites these are also palindromic means they can read same if we read them from 5 dash to 3 dash and like here the sequence is g a a t t c from 5 dash to 3 dash and in the next if we again read it from 5 dash to 3 dash so it is g a a t t c so this are this is a palindromic nature now these are the example of some commonly used restriction enzyme like ba much one which is taken from the organism bacillus amyloliquefaciens and its target sequence or restriction site is g g a t c c this star indicate that it cleave between this g z molecule similarly another is eco r1 means escherichia coli r y 13 and the recognition sequence or site is g a a t t c and it cleave between g and a so these are the example of this commonly used restriction sites sorry commonly used restriction enzymes now let's see how the restriction enzymes work so this is a specific dna sequence which have the restriction site for eco r1 g a a t t c is a recognition site for eco r1 restriction endonuclease enzyme so how it will work that this eco r1 it will recognize this site and ultimately cleave between this ga sequence and now it produce sticky ends so after cleavage this eco r1 produce sticky end molecules so now let discuss about the ends which are produced generally by the sticky enzyme so there are two kinds of ends are produced first blunt ends and second sticky ends so first blunt ends so blunt ends are the ends which do not have unpaired bases or do not have overhang basis so here is example of sma1 enzyme so this is the sequence which is recognized by the restriction enzyme sma1 and upon cleavage it produce two molecules and which are blunt and you can clearly see they do not have any unpaired base pair or overhang base so these are the example of blunt end second type of ends which are produced by these restriction enzymes are sticky ends so there may be five dash overhangs means when the unpaired bases are at the five dash end so example of this is balm h1 so this is the sequence which is recognized by this balm h1 enzyme and upon cleavage it produce two fragments and which have sticky ends at the five dash end so that's why five dash overhang similarly they can also produce three dash overhangs means which have 
अनपेड बेसिस एट द्री डैश एंड और ओवर हैंग्स एट द थ्री डैश एंड एग्जाम्पल इज ऑफ के पी एन वन सो दिस इज द सिक्वेंस विच इज रिकोगनाइज बाय दिक्शन एंजाइम के पी एन वन एन अपॉन क्लीवेज इट प्रोड्यूस द टू फ्रेगमेंट्स विच हैव स्टिकी एंड्स और विच हैव अनपेड बेसिस एट दी थ्री डैश एंड्स सो दिस इज अबाउट द रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंडो न्यूक्लियस एंजाइम्स एंड द रिकोगशन साइट्स द टाइप्स ऑफ रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंडो न्यूक्लियस एंजाइम्स सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे गाइज सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच